our whole raison d'être, our motive to exist is to put together uh, uh, mid cities in Europe that are not connected between themselves. Cities that actually are bases of Voltaire, like Venice and Bordeaux in Italy and France, were not connected before. Uh, those two cities are what uh, you know Americans would call world-class cities, right? And that you know very interesting with a lot of population, with you know a lot of interesting reasons to go visit. Paris, Madrid, uh, uh, Barcelona, London, or Frankfurt are all great, you know, but again, more people live in the mid-cities and uh, people in those mid-cities needed to be better connected. That's what we're about. You know, a year into it, that has proven to be a valid thesis. Regionals have reduced this a lot and have anyway always been very high price. So I think in terms of price, it's sort of a comfortable competition. And then the large low cost have actually, you know, largely uh, avoided those markets. All, you know, Ryanair, EasyJet, Voiling, uh, um, Norwegian in a different geography, Air Berlin have not really, you know, maybe 10 years ago, they would have done more this mid city to mid city. Now they've really all gone more towards the large markets. So uh, just to wrap it all, limited airline competition, limited bus and train competition. In reality, we stimulate, you know, people to travel that otherwise would stay at home. We fly where other people don't fly. That's the biggest difference of Volotea. You need to open all doors to all those people, whether they travel on leisure, whether they travel on uh, visiting family or whether they travel on business, whether they are technologically savvy and are comfortable, you know, internet users or not, and they still go to the travel agent or they prefer to compare shop, you know, in an OTA or, uh, you know, they're a small company and they use some type of corporate uh, agency. We, we have to reach absolutely everybody who wants to go between Venice and Bordeaux. So that's why from day one we've worked with GDS and at the front end with all the different local travel agents, very big ones, to make sure that, you know, they would find us. Amadeus is a great company. It's obviously the distribution partner you want to have. We have approximately a fourth of our distribution go from day one through uh, you know, things like Amadeus. The performance of uh, GDS has been very good from the beginning. They represent approximately 20% uh, of our sales. It's 20% uh, very valuable to us. Uh, a, because it's the type of client who would not buy on the web and B, because actually it trends to be more of a, of a last-minute booker, so we see slightly higher uh, average yield. With uh, modesty, I would say that thinking well through your distribution strategy definitely pays off, that you understand what type of market you're after, and if you can't live with only web or if you need other uh, means of distribution is an important question. And uh, maybe last but not least, that the uh, pure dogma of, you know, never distribution partners, all direct web-based, I think it certainly, uh, you know, evolved a lot. When I was starting Voiling in, uh, with a great team in 2004, um, it was more the dogma, let's say. I think that has evolved uh, a long way and it's been through the efforts of both some low-cost airlines and companies like Amadeus that have you know, evolved. It was, used to be much more expensive, by the way, now it's uh, much more efficient.